the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, with the fellowship of Father Sever Khan, who is the founder of this Anointing for Catholic Ministries, I welcome all of you into this episode of Thunder of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us be in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Kindly stand up. Let's pray. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We adore you, Holy Spirit. We need your help. We need your assistance, our Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Let's pray. We are in your presence. sing together. Welcome Holy Spirit. Welcome Holy Spirit. Sing together. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are in your presence, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Fill us, O Lord. Fill us, O Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We praise you, O Lord. We glorify you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We praise you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us involve the presence of our mother. Pray together. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are going to see the way to rekindle our anointing. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In order to rekindle our anointing, we have to do one thing. That is, heap up burning coals on the head of our brethren and rekindle the anointing. That's the best way to rekindle our anointing. Actually, it was from the Bible itself, not my words. It's the Bible itself. 
That is Romans chapter 12 verse 20. If your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing so, this you will heap burning coals on their heads. Yeah. <laughs> if your enemies are hungry, feed something to give something to uh, eat or something to drink. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Then God will heap up burning coals on their head. You see, in the Bible, fire, burning, etc. indicates the Holy Spirit. It means, infill your brother or sister with the Holy Spirit. For that, we have to do one thing. If your enemies are hungry, give something to eat. If you are thirsty, give something to drink. In order to understand the correct meaning of this passage, we have to move to the Old Testament. Actually, this passage was quoted by St. Paul from uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 25, verse 21 and 22. If your enemies are hungry, give them bread to eat. And if they are thirsty, give them water to drink. For you will heap coals of fire on their heads, and the Lord will reward you. Yeah. My dear brothers and sisters, it has, this passage has to say something more than the previous passage. That means here, did you see that? God will reward you. In another translation, I found that call means repentance. Another meaning is call is repentance. That means one who leads his brother or sister to repentance, God will reward them. In the Bible itself, we can see many examples. After that, we can, uh, after seeing some, some of the examples, and that later, we can move to uh, the, our life situations. You please take 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 21 to 23. Once, the, the king of Syria was war at, with uh, Israel. Actually, Syria tried many times to defeat the Israelites, but they couldn't. Because the prophet Elisha is there, where? In uh, Israel. Whenever Syria came to attack uh, against uh, Israel, what will happen? God will inform this news to uh, Elisha. And Elisha will inform this news to uh, the king of Israel. And what will happen? The Israel will oppose them. Now, the king of Syria realized that Elisha is working behind uh, them. So, he planned to attack the place where Elisha was residing. It is a context there. On that particular day, the servant of Elisha got up early in the morning and he went out. And he saw a scene that the, the, the army, or the, the Syrian army, with its full force, surrounded uh, them. Then he cried bitterly because they have no time to inform the king of Israel. There's no time to resist the army. Then what? Then you know what happened? Then suddenly, Elisha raised his hands towards the king. And said like, Oh Lord, let his eyes may open. Then, he saw a vision that the army from heaven is ready to fight against Syria with Israel. Then they was, he was very happy. Then Elisha, after this prayer, Elisha raised his hands uh, against the, uh, the Syrian army. And he prayed like this, O oh Lord, strike the people with blindness. You see, the Syrian army was coming. Till that time, the way of Israel was very clear to the Syrians. They approached a juncture. At that time, Elisha uh, said these words. Then you know what happened? They got confused the way. Then Elisha reached that particular place of that juncture and asked like this, where are you going? Then they said, we are going to Israel to fight against, but now we missed the way. Then Elisha, Elisha said, you follow me, I shall show the way. Actually, Elisha led them to the midst of Israel where they already encamped. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 It is the context. Then, they reached at that particular place, 
Then the king of Israel asked Elisha, Father, shall I kill them? It is a context. Now, we can continue reading verse 21 onwards. Yeah. When the king of Israel saw them, he said to Elisha, Father, shall I kill them? Shall I kill them? He answered, No. Did you capture with your sword and your bow those whom you want to kill? Set food and water before them so that they may eat and drink, and let them go to their master. So he prepared for them a great feast. After they ate and drank, he set them on their way, and they went on to their master. And the Armenians no longer came raiding into the land of Israel. Yeah, and the Armenians no longer came raiding into the land of Israel. My dear brothers and sisters, here Romans 12, 21 is literally fulfilled here. You see, will anyone give food and drink to the captured enemy? Normally, no. You see, the only kingdom which gives bank to the enemies and sends them with the blessing is the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You see, Jesus is the only king who said, bless the torturer, bless the persecutor, bless them not to curse. Then what was the after effect? They prepared a great feast to the captured enemy. And what happened? After that feast, they went by. And the Syrians no longer came riding into the land of Israel. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Actually, my dear brothers and sisters, this is very clear. This incident is very clear in the Bible itself. Let us take one more passage. That's from book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 7. Book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 7. Yeah, let us read. When the ways of people please the Lord, he causes even their enemies to be at peace with them. Yeah. When the ways of people please the Lord, what will happen? He causes even their enemies to be at peace with them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When the way of Israel is one, what's one with God, the Syrians become friendly with the Israelites. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So, we have to understand one more thing that if anybody is not favored with us, it indicates that our way is not of the way of God. Do you understand what I said? The way of God is saying that if our way is one with God, there is no room for doubt, they will be reconciled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the, the best way to grow in grace, the shortcut to grow in grace, to forgive wholeheartedly. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's very clear from one more text. Letter Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and through it many become defiled. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So, my dear brothers and sisters, the best way to grow in grace is to forgive wholeheartedly. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what will be the result? God will heave fire on this heart, on their head, and we will be rewarded. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Both in this world and the heaven also. Let us pray to God you know, to get a, such a special anointing. If you somebody, if somebody hurt you, if somebody gave pain into you, if we are bless them, not to curse, not bless them, God will give special grace to us. We, our anointing will be rekindled. And God will give and God will give a repentance to them. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Please be stand up. Let us open, close our eyes and open our hands and pray to God. Once again, you may ponder over the verses which we heard. If your enemies are hungry, give them, give them something to eat. We are thirsty, give something to drink. Then what will happen? God will heap fire on their head and we will be rewarded. Oh Lord, 
Give me the grace of this verse to our life. You know, to practice this. If our way is one with God, definitely they will be reconciled with us. Hallelujah. Praise to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise to Jesus. Thank you. Pray together. Hallelujah. Praise to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raise our hands towards the Eucharistic Lord and praise our God with a louder voice. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, anoint us. Holy Spirit, touch us. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh Lord Jesus, when we stand before you, we offer ourselves to you in front of you. Lord Jesus, my heart is a wounded heart. I need healing. Lord Jesus, all the bitter experience of my past life made me a person of uncontrolled anger, jealous, hurt, and lust. Lord Jesus, I can't love myself. My, my personality is a wounded personality. Jesus, only you can love me. I am revealing before you as I am. Lord Jesus, come and touch me. Heal me, Jesus.
Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. 